grade 11s this is a, a lesson on nature of the roots when we talk about nature of the roots we are talking about a quadratic equation and we are actually talking about the x values of the quadratic equation if we draw it we are talking where it cuts the x axis there and there we are talking about the x values of the quadratic equation so we're gonna you can determine the nature of the roots how the roots are without calculating them we use when you look here this is the quadratic formula so we use the quadratic formula but only this part and then is is called the discriminant and then it's shown by this sign delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac you see that part is exactly that on the quadratic formula okay so when you see from the quadratic formula this part b squared minus 4ac is under a square root so it, it can help us to tell us how are the x values how are the roots of the that particular equation so when this sign delta you see i've used delta when i use that it's b squared minus 4ac is that b squared minus 4ac so when b squared minus 4ac delta is greater than zero greater than zero means positive if you get a positive number and the number is a perfect square for example you get a 4 or you get a 16 a positive and it's a perfect square you you'll have two real roots meaning that you'll have two values of x and they will be unequal they will not be equal and they will be rational you remember from grade 9 rational numbers are the ones that if they have a comma they don't recur uh, if they have a comma or they recur they will recur or they will have a comma and stop then they are rational irrational are the ones that they change all the time so when your delta h is positive and it's a perfect square your roots will be two they'll be real meaning that you'll have them they are real and they'll be unequal and they'll be rational if your delta is a posi positive greater than zero means positive when it's positive and it's not a perfect square you'll have two real roots they'll still be unequal but they'll be irrational because um, they are not a perfect square. You remember this b squared minus 4ac was taken from a square root. So you will get an irrational number from, from that. But you don't necessarily have to calculate the whole formula. This helps us to tell how our roots how our roots going to be without calculating the whole equation. Let's look at the next one. Now, when your delta is equal to 0, when it's equal to 0, You'll have two real roots the roots will be equal you'll get a three and a three or a seven and a seven and they will be rational with the last one when your delta is less than zero meaning that you get a negative number your roots will be non-real you will not have roots your graph will look like this it will not cut the x-axis if your a is positive it will be something like that it will not cut the x-axis and then if it's your a maybe it's negative it will look like that it will not cut the x-axis and then your roots are non-real then when will that happen if your your delta is negative less than zero okay um let's look at the exam type question with the nature of the roots they will normally ask you a question that is similar to this one this one says the roots of a quadratic equation are, then they've calculated the roots for you. X is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of minus k minus 4 over 2a. Then they ask you for which values of k are the roots real? So when the roots are real, the b squared minus 4ac delta is greater than 0. You see in these two instances it's greater than 0. So when I look at my b squared minus 4ac, is everything that is under the square root. So this is my delta. So I'll have minus k minus 4. They say roots real. Roots real, the delta is greater than 0. Then let's calculate. Okay. So you have minus k greater than 4. Took the 4 to the other side. We divide by minus 1, divide by minus 1. You remember the laws of inequalities. When we divide 
by minus 1, you change the inequality. So it will be minus 4. That's all you need to, to, to do. You just need to remember and look at um, this instruction. What did they say to you? Did they say the roots are real? Did they say the roots are non-real? Then you have to know when the roots are non-real, uh, my delta is less than 0. When the roots are real, so, and then you need to go to the equation and find where is your delta. Where is your B squared minus 4AC? Okay, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.